from the campus of Ball State University, this is Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Monday. Welcome inside the SportsLink studio, I'm Anna Lowe. It's been 16 months since soccer has played a match, but this Wednesday afternoon, that changed for the Cardinals against Toledo. Shelby Keene is ready to get back on the field. Just to get back out on the field, um, it's been a while, so I think we're all just uh, itching to get out there and get some competition, and then obviously get that uh, MAC championship ring. I think that's what we're all looking forward to. Men's tennis has won seven straight matches following Tuesday's win 6-1 to one over IUPUI. Senior Bryce Bonin and the Cardinals host Dayton Thursday. Bonin's connection to Ball State continues to run deep. The coach actually was my first Division I coach to uh, give me an offer and uh, give me kind of a look. And he came and watched me play in a match and waited through a two-hour rain delay to watch me play. That really stuck with me, um, how much he cared to stay and, and watch me play. His results seemed to be at a, at a good level and kind of a kind of the right fit, you know, for us and for him. Some players develop at different times, but Bryce was, you know, on a nice, nice level all the way through. Men's basketball scored 90 or more points in three straight MAC games for the first time in school history on Tuesday. It looks like the basketball team is primed for a MAC tournament run next week. It was also senior night for Bracken Hazen, Ish Alamin, and KJ Walton. Special because we got three great seniors, you know, like, and when I say great, like KJ Walton, Ishmael Alamin, and Bracken Hazen, they're phenomenal human beings, phenomenal. And, uh, and so it's special because of that. All three of them are like, they're just great people and they're good athletes. They're good basketball players. They're really good people. They're going to make great husbands, great dads, great athletes, great uh, workers, professionals one day. And uh, it's really special because of that. You may have seen the 2021 football schedule recently released, highlighted by road trips to Penn State, Wyoming, and a home matchup with Army. Coach New has seen this program grow, and after last year's MAC championship, football is ready to run it back. Every day, yes, it was tough. We played a lot of young football players. Now, obviously this past season, we played a lot of veteran football players, but at some point, uh, they had to start their time on the field with a very young football team in 2017. Uh, I always like to use the saying, we were taking it on the chin. We were getting beat, a lot of lopsided, ugly losses, but I know every day, as hard as it was, I tried to come in and address the team and just say, we got two choices here. We can either stay positive, continue to work hard, uh, continue to do things the right way, and ultimately the growing pains that we're going through will pay off for us. Uh, and so every day it was a challenge, but I tried to make sure that I greeted them every day when they came in the door with a smile on my face, uh, with a fist bump, uh, and let them know that, man, we're going to get through this. Tough times never last. Tough people do. I'm a big believer in that. And uh, unfortunately, these young men stuck together. Uh, when they certainly didn't have to do that, but they stuck together, they believed in the process. We continue to work hard, make gains every single year, uh, and to be able to share uh, in this season with those young men, winning a MAC championship, winning the first bowl game, I wouldn't trade those growing pains for anything. Only one month away from the opening of our new eSports facility, the team is already here in action. The Ball State Overwatch team swept Bowling Green this past Thursday in the best of three for the third round of the Esports Collegiate Conference. Samuel U.S. Miller was the MVP for the match with 18 objective kills on the first map and a dead-eye double kill followed by a triple kill in map three. Ball State Overwatch's next match is against Central Michigan Thursday at 8 p.m. Starting today, there are 25 Ball State athletic events scheduled through the week. Here's what's chirping. The men's tennis doubles teams of Denegri and Simmons were named the Max Double Team of the Week. The duo sealed the doubles point in Tuesday's win over IUPUI. After missing last week due to COVID-19 protocols, women's volleyball returns to action with three matches this week. The first two will take place at Ohio with a 6.30 p.m. first serve Thursday and 2 p.m. first serve Friday. Then the team travels to Western Michigan for a Sunday afternoon match. Men's volleyball returns to the road for the first time in over a month when it travels to Lewis this weekend in Neva action. Ball State is coming off a tough 
five-set loss to Ohio State last Saturday in Warthern Arena. Caleb Jennis led the Cardinals offensively with 16 kills against the Buckeyes. And finally, women's basketball closes out its Mid-American Conference regular season Saturday against Western Michigan at 1 p.m. Prior to the contest, Ball State will pay tribute to its three seniors, Ashlyn Brown, Katie Hegelson, and Malia Howard-Bass. You can watch the game live on ESPN Plus, produced by Sportslink. That's this week in Ball State Sports for Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. I'm Anna Lowe, Chirp Chirp.